Have you ever been in VS Code and wanted to see if your database was actually saving information? Well, I've been working in SQLite a ton lately, and while I have been using Drizzle to connect and get access to things like Drizzle Studio to see my data in a nice table, sometimes in VS Code, I just wanna be able to look at my data. In comes an extension to be able to actually open up a SQL database as if it were a file and see your data. So let's take a look at this. When I select my SQLite DB, it tells me that it's unsupported. I'm going to say open anyways, and I'm going to select SQLite Viewer. You can see SQLite Viewer allows me to see my entire database. If I select the table I want to look at, you can see all of your records here. You can even filter them really easily to see that data. Now this is read only, you can't modify the database this way, but many times if I'm doing like an import or I'm working with my data, I just wanna see if it works and I don't wanna necessarily write the DB query to go ahead and pull that data into my site. So this is a nice, quick and easy way to make sure that your database is getting the data you expect it to be getting at any given point right here from VS Code. So which extension is this? Well, the one that I've been using is SQLite Viewer. It has only 42 stars, but it has 856 thousand downloads. So a lot of people are using this. Now there are a couple other ones of these like this one that has 2 million downloads, explore and query your SQLite database, or other ones like the SQLite 3 editor. And this one even gives you a bit more of editing experience. Now I don't love the user interface for this one. And typically I'm not going to be diving into edit my DB this way. So if you need those types of tools, they're in VS Code as well. However, for just a nice simple UI to view your database, I've been finding the SQLite viewer to be an amazing extension. So if you're using any extensions for SQLite in your VS Code, let me know in the comments below. I want to see what you're using. Also, if you're using an extension like this to examine other database types, I want to hear about that as well. 